I mean, I could just sit here and be like, gender is a social construct, blah, 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 but it's not going to take, you know, the male and, and female signs off the bathroom, so, although I do believe that, like, you know, sex is, is your genitals and your gender is how you, how you act on that, like, how you, how you play at a certain role, like, you can, you can play it being female, you can play it being male, um, this is something I'm actually, like, very into, the whole, like, transgender, transsexual, ideas, I think that it's really important for people to understand what it means, like, in society to be male or female, and knowing that, you know, you don't have to be, like, it doesn't have to be a rigid thing. If, maybe in New York, um, in certain, certain, like, niches, like, you can find a place for that sort of expression, but not... I mean, if you go to Idaho, and, like, if I went to Idaho, you know, dressed as a guy talking to the doors and, and, like, playing at being a man, it wouldn't exactly be, it wouldn't be accepted, I don't think. I mean, I don't know. I've never been to Idaho, so I can't speak for all of them, so. <laughs> I think gender is, you know, a continuum. Like, there's, like, extreme female, extreme male, and then, like, all these ambiguities in between, and... Biological, I mean, biologically, or psychological. like, your, your sex is important to reproduce, but, like, psychologically, gender is just something that narrows your mind, I guess. It's something that it makes you feel like you have to be one thing or another.